Hello and welcome. Today I am going to be informing you, the audience, the marketing and diversity of how stores are attracting tomorrow's customers. Beep, beep, beep. We all know what this noise is, or if we ever been to a store to go shopping for either groceries or anything in between. Uh, this is the noise is made by the as the UPC is scanned overneath the sc over the scanner for the item to be purchased. I hope after listening to these facts presented in my speech, you, the customer, will understand how stores are making us the victim of some way or another to go shopping at their store. I am credible today to give you a speech because I have worked at Academy Sports and Outdoors for three plus years, and I also have done extensive research on, on the internet and as well as the college databases through the library. Although there are many different stores throughout the United States that sell goods or products, in the next few moments we are going to look at the customer, the effects of how stores are attracting these customers, and how stores are attracting them for many, many generations to come. Remember how I told you I worked at Academy Sports and Outdoors for three plus years? I had seen many different individuals that came to the shop with Academy. But have you ever stopped and looked at a customer walking into a store to make an item purchase? This is very, tr very true if you want to look at the customer in great detail if your business wants to be successful. I am going to explain to you and look at the customer in the detail and how these stores are bringing these shoppers to make them want to shop with them. The, follow the following are key ideas explained by Stacia Pierce to show how stores are attracting these customers to shop at a particular location. First, we'll look at the sex, either male or female, the age, their appearance, the type of car they drive, how many kids they have, where they like to shop, favorite social media websites, where they live, the type of clothes they wear, where they like to hang out, what kind of books they read. This is even true with books. I found this journal entry pretty frustrating. A library did two studies with, uh, with books over a 6 and 12 month period. Initially they looked at 50 books with jacket, 50 books without jackets, to see which book would go into circulation more. It appears that books without jackets increased their circulation by 15%, while the jacket books increased their circulation by 54% according to Massey's study. I'm betting you, the audience, did not think, did not think knowing that the customer plays an important role such for stores when they are attracted to you. Now we'll examine how the stores are attracting customers. The following are eight ways how stores are attracting customers to their stores according to Kayla Tierney in her journal, her article, eight ways to attract the customer to your store. One, Talk to your friends. A simple way of, of doing this is talk to your friends, to people who you know. Ask if they know of anyone who can use your services or products. Two, second, do what the big boys are doing. The best way of doing this is to mimic their sales tactics, advertise like they do, and keep an eye on their online presence. Third, use plenty of ads. The size does not matter, big, small, whatever shape you can get them into. The key is to advertise where the competitors are advertising. Four, sponsor events as often. Events bring everyone together, especially events that appeal to your market. Are a great opportunity. Five, ask for feedback. Whether your customers are happy or displeased with your store, ask them to write a short paragraph about what they think of you and your store. Six, give something away. Customers love free stuff. It is because it is very appealing to them. Seven, use social media websites. There are so many different social media websites today on the internet, but use them for your business potentials. Some examples of these are Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. And finally, eight, have a rewards program. Rewards programs may be a bit of an investment, but if used right, it will bring loyal customers. 
This is even true with large credit card companies, according to Doors Dat, in a periodical states, stated that there are five things that you should know to attract and influence customers. Remember to go slow, never fast. It is not enough to simply hear what the customers say, but active listen. Third, discard the perception of phone calls have a more of a personal touch. Do not outsource your company's connections to outside to other customers. And finally, five, invest as much as into the back office, into the online design of the layout of your online store. So now that we looked at the customer exact and how the customer has characteristics to make them in their special and their own way, now we're going to examine how stores are attracting customers to come to their store for generations to come. This is best described by Eaton, Joseph Eaton, the founder of the Photo Paper Direct with a document called 10 Ways to Keep Them. The first way, Joseph says, is to offer more communication channels. Using a technical communication like Twitter, Skype, and even a third party online chat application to engage customers besides just email. Second, respond to emails within 15 minutes. In some cases, we, you might res respond while the customer is browsing the site, thereby increasing the likelihood of a sale. Third, make new offers. As always, always diversify your offers to keep your products appealing to the customer. Some ways of doing this is by using price drops or free shipping. Four, openly encourage reviews, good or bad. It is easy for customers to relate to other customers and how the problems or solutions they found when using your products if there is a place to talk to them about their experience. 5. Actively ask for feedback. The goal of making the feedback find potential problems with the products or goods or services might be a way to put off a customer from buying again. 6. Look and talk professionally. To win and retain new customers, become authority on the products or services that you offer. Seven, do not distance yourself. This means finding the right balance between appearance and professionalism from your customers. Eight, fix the problems quickly. This means act quickly and decisively. Nine, stay competitive. A to stay competing, competitive means to keep new customers, you must stay competitive and take account of the total price of your products and services, i.e. tax and delivery and shipping when applicable. And finally, 10, surprise your customers in a nice way, not the, a bad way. Some of the examples of this is send a promotional code to loyal customers, create a high quality volume of how-to guides to share in your extensive industry experience, or even send to customers a congratulations email on their birthday. Now that we looked at the customers and how they are keeping them from coming to your generations to come, let's review and understand how stores are attracting them to come shop at the, your place of business. Although there are many different ways throughout the many different ways that stores are attracting and selling products, we learned in this speech that stores are doing this by in great effects of the customer and how they are attracting these customers how and how they are attracting them from generations comes. So remember next time when you're in the checkout line and you hear the beep 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 as the item is UPC is scanned over, beneath this, over the scanner think about it how did that particular store come and attract you to come shop with them today? Thank you.